Hi everyone. In the previous video, when I've done the Mark IV uh, front brakes and discs, I made it actually look harder than what it needed to be, and a lot of guys commented on it. Now, as I did state in that video, the reason was it was wet, raining, bad weather, and I, I didn't have time on my side. And I missed a few things out, like I said, made it look harder than what it needed to be. And I did film the passenger side, but only clips with the plan of speeding the footage up and adding it in at the end of it. So, but I did do that one a bit better. I done that one properly. Um, you know, took the caliper off the carrier, then removed the carrier, etc., etc. The only thing I didn't do was slide the the pins and clean the hub with a wire brush when I put the new disc back on. Anyway, I want to rectify that. I'm going to show you the bits of footage I did catch from the passenger side where I did do it the easier way rather than the hard way and um, I hope you enjoy it so apologies for the lack of quality on the last one I've done but here it is hopefully a bit more guidance and a bit more you know with the sliding pins you need to grease them a bit of red rubber grease and stuff like that clean around the hub they're the only bits I didn't really do on this one but the job got done and it works so Note to self, never rush a video, never rush a job. Don't do it in the wet and when it's cold and everything else. And just do the job properly. But it got done, but not the easy way. So let's crack on. Enjoy this video. Bye for now. So once you've got your car jacked up and your wheel off, you're looking, there's these two little dust caps and the slider pins, I've removed them already with a flathead screwdriver. You've got one here and one on the bottom there, and they're a H7 or 7mm Allen key bit. I flipped the camera, we'll pop them out. So we're going to start with this H7 7mm Allen key at the bottom. There you go. Once it's cracked, get your ratchet and get it off even quicker. Top one. In the same what in the same way. That's one pin out. Yeah, 
Then you remove this tab here. Something like that. <laughs> then with a flathead or a pry bar, you work the caliper loose. There's still plenty of meat on them, but I'm going to replace them anyway, fresh for the MOT. We're going to be removing the disc and replacing the disc as well. And at a later date, I'm going to be replacing the knuckle, the hub here. So we're going to be replacing the disc as well, whilst we've got it all apart. So I'm going to remove the carrier. And as you notice here, there is a, a bolt stud broken but I'm going to be replacing that at a later date so let's get the carrier off get the disc off and then put the fresh disc back on the carrier bolts are 18 mil and as always oh, give them a bit of a frozen penetrant fluid allow them a couple of minutes to soak in so we put some penetrant on them about a few minutes, I'm going to use my breaker bar and I'm just going to try and crack them off. Make sure it's flush on there. Good budge now. There we go. Do the top one. As you see, it cracked it off. Get your ratchet. Slap it off. I'm sat in a puddle right now. but these are 18 mil bolts on here. Well, I said there's a puddle right here where I'm working. So now it's time to get the disc off, replace it, get some new pads on, new disc, and that'll be one side done.
nice shiny new one carrier back on So that's the carrier back in. Forgot to mention that before I put the disc in, I did give it a quick spray down with some brake cleaner to remove any contaminants, stuff like that. Uh, all I've got left to do now is put the brake pads in, put the caliper back on, and um, that's another job done. That's the front passenger side um, disc. Sorry if it keeps going out of focus. Okay, I've got a new camera and uh, still getting used to it. So, I put a bit of copper grease actually. Got some here. Got some copper grease. Put a bit of copper grease on the ends here if you want. So now what we've got to do is we've got to wind back the piston. Uh, best way to do this is open the bonnet and undo the cap on the brake tank, brake reservoir. And then when you push the old pad in, the fluid will go back into the t into the container and not give you any grief. It should go back quite nicely. I'm going to leave the old pad on there and use a flathead or a retracting tool. I think I've got one laying around like that just to wind it back in a bit. So let's open the bonnet and remove the, the cap. Let's 
pulle sig. Jo. If you want one of these tools, one of these kits, I'll put a link in the description. You can grab one. There we go, let's undo it. Get a pad, get some copper grease on the ends, and it'll click into place. and just put it back together. that's it all done it's all back together the driver sides identical procedure what I've got left to do now is put the clip back in go and then there is a little bit of movement it's still in it only slight but that will disappear when um, you start driving and you press the brake pedal a few times so for the first couple of miles or so just be cautious so I'm gonna crack on with the driver's side now um, I'll probably just speed up the footage of me doing that one so it's not easy doing this when there's a puddle right beside you, as you can see, all around here. Comes all the way back around there. So that's another job done. If you like the videos, leave a like, comment and subscribe if you must. If you like what I do, uh, the ST is coming back up soon. I'm just doing MOT work on this. And um, this will be replaced. I've got a whole hub ready to go in so I'm going to pull it out and replace it uh, there's a few other little jobs I need to do down this side um, let me show you if you look just here got a split in the boot of the out of tie rod so I'm going to be replacing that soon as well it's got to be done um, and I've noticed over the back on the CV boot that someone's taped it together and they've put electrical tape around it so I'm going to pull that off Oh, I keep picking the camera. I'm trying to avoid a puddle. Um, but someone's put electrical tape around that, so I'm going to get that replaced. I'm going to pull it off and sort that out as well. So, that's another job done. So that's doing the front brakes. 
discs and pads on the Mark 4 Mondo. If you like the videos, please leave a like. Consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. And um, from a very wet, soaked, sat in a puddle, practically doing these. It's not the easiest. I'm trying to keep off the floor as best I can. Um, I'll see you in the next video. So, hope you've liked it.